Hello everyone, welcome to Sparking Productions. Today, I'll be showing you how you can make Cyclone Titan. Right, so, let's get right into the build. Okay, so first, making a chip. It's pretty easy, so you're gonna need a 2x4, a 2x4 plate, anyways, right? With a 2x2 two two circle piece, along with two purple studs, or any color you want if you have it. And then a two by two recommended recommended clear. There you go. That's the top part of the chip. Flip it over. Add this part to the bottom. Two by two. Then okay, so this part is completely optional. You don't have to use this. So I, I used for most of much so for most of my bagels, I put rubber tires in them to gain so, so that these can gain a bit more weight. Now you don't have to do these. You can actually use three more of um these pieces if you if you don't want to accidentally ruin a lego piece or you know you can just use an empty one but i'm going to use this one then you take three take this take this part right to make the teeth and then along with one of these boom that's the chip Okay, next we're making the strike ring, right? So, you will need, you're gonna need um, these, right? Take two of these and just do this, right? Okay, connect these two together and take one of these flat parts Put it right over here. Then just take the, these two by twos with, with a center stud attachment, just like so. Now you need to make two of these actually. So let me just quickly make this one. Okay, it's done now. After, after you've done that, you put this part over here, right, along with one of these square tiles. You take one of these slopes, right, and you go, you got one half of the ring. Do the same thing. Do the same thing, but this time, like, opposite direction. You know, because this is a right spinning bay blade, it's not left spinner. So... There you go. That's the next part of the ring. So then, to putting these together, you'll need two studs. All right. So yeah, you'll need um not two studs, two two by ones, and then to secure it, you'll need a four by one. And there you go. That the ring is almost done. Then you have these parts. These were supposed to be armor bits, but they're not anymore. You'll basically need these two parts. Then again, you can always improvise. They don't have to be exactly like this. They don't have to be like this at all, actually. They could be anything. But, I mean, if you want it to look like Cyclone, then go for it. There's also other recommended kind of things, kind of like, you think these weights and stuff, you can use, um, instead of using these parts, you can actually just use 4 by ones if you want to. Alright, anyways, on to the slash core. Okay, so now we are on the, um, the strike core, which is pretty simple to make. You're gonna need two of these four by one tiles. I want these two by two by one attachment parts. Brackets anyway. You're gonna need this two by this two by one here. Then like that. So add another one of these over here. That's that's the first half almost done. So then you're gonna need this three by one. Put it right there. Along with this slope, this cheese slope, right? 
Then add one of these brackets over here, along with this slope over here, and even the purple slope right over here. That's the first half. Then do the same thing on this side. Right. Add a cheese slip right over here. A three by one over here. Okay, one bracket over here. These don't actually connect to anything. These are just for extra weight. A slip over here, and then a slip right over here. There you go. Oh god. Onto the onto the right, disc. Now I have the disc, which still no official name yet, but I'm just calling it flip for right now. So to make this, you can you need um four four of these parts, right? Along with these brackets, so put them in this position. Just like so. Alright. With the main base done, now here's <clears throat> here's what we need to actually be like, where you put these. So his gimmick is that one side is lower than the other side. So to do this, you have to have the slope facing down, right, like this. You basically have to be like this. So where the studs are facing, so the studs facing down with the slope facing this way, right. So when you flip it around, in its defense mode, it's a lot higher and doesn't cause a gap. Right. Just like so. And there's the disc. Now we have high Zephyr Dash. Right. Pretty simple. Take these two parts, right, to make the top part of the, of the driver. And just put this top of here take you'll need um, you'll need this part right over here right along with the, the zephyr it's the zephyr itself right and then you're gonna take these parts just put it right over here you know those bumpy lines on the on most of the high drivers yeah this is basically what it mimics oh god Anyways, now we have all the parts. Now to have a link, it's pretty easy. First, you'll need the core and the ring. You see, these two part, these these um, studs over here will attach into the center of these. That's why it's very important to use these these brackets over here. So there you go. Just like that, it fits right in. Then you take the chip. And put it in. There you go. That's the layer done. Oh god. Then just flip it over. Now you put it like this for the defense mode. And like that. So this is this is it in its defense mode, as you can see, not big of a gap. Right. Then this is it in its attack mode. Flip it around. And there you go. To attack mode now. Gap right there, and now this doing like this is like a 50 50 chance. So it either has the chance of tragically bursting or like the uh, or like launching the Beyblade back, right? The high driver kind of so when it loses balance, it these parts are like more exposed, right? So there's a higher chance of it actually hitting it. That's where the 50 50 chance comes mostly into play. Right, well, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Barking Productions out.